second to last day I'm awesome today and it's the third of third of July which makes it day 910 off the grid and I'm getting Duba's package ready to post hopefully going out on the bike to the Edelweiss Y store but going out to the Edelweiss Y store to post it nevertheless fashioned this cardboard sleeve from an old wheat books packet and some very old CD stomper labels that that hark right back to the days when Damon released Neo Def. In fact that's the center of the Damon label. But I've done it this way because I want to send this letter rate and the thickness limit is 10 millimeters and well we're pushing that a little bit but only a little bit with this packaging. If I'd used the plastic case that came with the tape, we'd be way over. And this also gives it a unique look. So, I'll do the final wrapping and send this off to do. Day 910 off the grid. And now it is a day in July. In fact, the third day in July. So it is a bit more like the Winter Days song by Beltane now, here at the Safety Walk. Typical Nelson winter day, quite sunny, not particularly cold. At the Safety Walk again, on the bike again, but today by myself. Decided to take Dad's bike with a gel seat this time to try and avoid problems. But in this bag is a very special item. It is the ineffable Mark Dubanowski's Happy Winter Solstice Duba Prezi. Or I should say Happy Solstice Duba because naturally over in Great Britain it's just been the sum solstice. But nevertheless... I'm delivering the present to the post box at the Adderweiss store via bicycle. So, I better get on with it. It's our last full day here in Nelsonia. Well, here I am again at Corridor Park, sitting in the seat of Corridor. There's the bike. There's what you can see from here. Really sunny day again. And I've just prepared the ineffable Mark Dumanowski's package to go. So cassette wrapped up, made as small as possible. Not much room for the stamps in, the email sticker. Had to split the customs sticker. Had to split that down, didn't I? So it would fit on there we go but she's good to go now I also picked up a couple of heavy duty lantern batteries which will form the next Beltane primary battery supply for our LV Panamp for our next outdoor mission where we need batteries which I don't know when that will be could be the spring equinox but possibly not if we go to Castle Point but if we do something else we may need them. The last lot have been in for over a year and even though they haven't been used that much I think it's time to retire them. These ones are from the Adderweiss store so that's kind of cool. So I better get my shit together and post this because this afternoon I'm going to go up the sim again with Vikey and I'm going to do a bit more on the radio show. Well, here we are again in Adelaide Crescent. This year the road's closed off, and we're here at the Adelaide store for Happy Solstice Duba. And here's the package, quite different this year. I'm gonna go and post it. Same old post box. And here we go, package.
there we go. Done. Day 910 off the grid and we're back on the trails behind North Road or just up above that all I drive near North Road, Fountains Park. We're taking the other one, come from this way. This takes us through to Adawai Drive, but I think it just drops us down onto the road soon. There's a little wee stream here, just a little, I don't know if you'd even call it a creek, it's really just a drain, natural one. Um, waterfall is just right there. We're just at that area at the moment. There's hundreds of trees over. Sounds lovely over. But yeah, it looks like a jungle from up, from up, from up there. Yeah, it's been a pretty good trip. Yeah, Quite enjoying it actually. I had a bit of fun. Yeah, no trip to Nelson. Yeah, so this is the final mesh, so let's get on with it. Except the slope. Down. There's a sim over there. This is his new way of getting in. It's quite different. It's quite a different way indeed. It's quite fun. The rain's setting in a bit now though, isn't it? Hopefully it won't last for too long. little cold sack. Right. There we go. The walk. Now I need to get out the radio. It's a sign. Mulholland Drive, Baffy. Mulholland Drive. <laughs> yep, that's where we're at right now. You go down at a wide up twelve plus. Uh, yeah, we basically did really, and it was quite stupid. Over. Yeah, I wouldn't do it again, over. <laughs> but if you just went straight up Walter's Bluff and straight up here, it'd be okay, though, over. Yep, did. We better hustle, actually. This rain's coming in. We better get in here and find some shelter, over. Yep, we're probably going to need it. Over and out. And here we are, halfway up the from the Black Gates. Black Gates down there, this is the Hairpin Bend. And up into the sea. It's a pretty cool path. It's not wet in here. It's not wet in here at all. Thanks to the tree canopy. Oh, and also the fact that the cemetery has a, a microclimate that's different to the surrounding area of the cemetery. In fact, it's not actually raining in the sea. Nothing. It's not raining in here, is it? No. Why is that? Because there's something special about the cemetery. <laughs> Although it might just be in this case that it has actually stopped raining. Might have only been a brief shower.
At least you get in halfway up that way. Although it's a hard one halfway up. Here we are. Somewhere where there's some views. Well, we just had a nice view. We just had a nice sort of tree corridor though, didn't we? But here is the southwest edge of the sea. And here I here is the Haven, Boulder Bank. Uh, you would see the lighthouse, but for this tree being in the way. So, here we have it. Right. I will turn off now and go into the sim and have a look around. There is too. That's a big container boat. Yeah, well, Nelson's got quite a big port. Day 910 off the grid. And this is the last ditch recording effort, but there's some things I just had to get done. I used the Hona here to record a new song, which of course is tentatively titled Winter 17.2, but will probably become Vernal 17.1, because we'll do it for the Spring Equinox. And because I suspect that I may need to use the Pentatune guitar at home for that, I composed it on a Pentatune guitar. But I've just finished off with this infamous instrument here. This is the Murray Tar. It's a guitar that was built by my late Uncle Murray, hence the name the Murray Tar. It's a crazy instrument, not very practical guitar at all. Look at the neck. Probably be alright for doing slide on. He's made the fingerboard out of hardwood here. And I'm not sure what he's used for the frets, but it looks like some kind of brass. I had this for a long time and I wasn't very interested in it because when I was younger I didn't think it was cool, of course. But when I was older, you know, all of a sudden cheesy things become cool. Now I think it's really cool. And also it didn't work properly. It was out of tune, you couldn't tune it. That's because he'd put the bridge in the wrong place. See, he put it here, and all I had to do was move the bridge down to there, and all of a sudden, it's playable. Well, playable after a fashion, of course. It takes a bit of a different technique, but it's got a really strident and really unique resonant tone, so it's really cool for overdubs. In fact, I've just been recording it now on our Isengard song, and I've recorded distorted guitar. Yeah, distorted guitar through it. I just had this mic here sitting in the drawer. I was sitting on the bed there. Ran the mic through my Vox metal amp plug and into the Asus as usual and recorded it, yeah. Got some tracks here. I kind of did it in two bits because I kind of had to almost manually put my fingers on for the chordal bits, so that's those tracks there. And the other single note runs are up there and I used the new Bluetooth speaker that Baffy got me for my solstice present and this is really good it's got an excellent sound it sounds real good with the honer through that metal Vox amp plug eh? it sounds massive of course I'm not recording the sound of that it's just what it sounds like when I'm jamming with it you know but a good sound is good inspiration and that's a quick film of the setup and now I'm going to pack all this up so Northwood Studio will again be going away. <laughs>